All right. Hello, welcome, folks, to first week action here at the Rasmussen Memorial Cup. And uh, we're playing the Tech Mobile season. I'm here with G Town. That's right. And uh, he is competing to win $100,000 here. You, you, you get it later. But uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and start the game. This uh, button here is to confirm your choice. This is to. Uh, so go ahead and go to season game. Your dear Terry Puffy. Ter Terrence Powderly, oh, folks. Your Terrence good friend Powderly. Terrence Powderly here with the uh, with the play-by-play -play here. No, go to Game Start. That's how you start the game. Game Start. First week of the season. And uh, G-Town G-Unit here has picked the... Uh, oh, oops. No, it's okay. This is just another game. Okay, so the Raiders beat Minnesota in a game that's probably pretty boring to watch. You can see two interceptions. Very good for uh, those goofballs. Go ahead. Wrong button. There we go. I think this should be your game. G-Town is still learning, but he is a fast learner. Oh, he's playing the Steelers. Oh, that's Got to watch out for Barry Fosters, which is Australian for a good running back. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did you get... Okay, you could be kicking off, so try to make the, the thing red. I had uh, the last guy who played uh, kick it all blue because he thought, well, that's for accuracy. Oh, Charles Woodson takes it, and he's out to the 20. Out to the, gets to the 25-19 yard return, folks. And uh, the, the Steelers will start on the 25-yard line. And uh, you press A right here to pick who you want to control. And you can't change them during the play, so you better pick somebody good. Usually I pick a linebacker up to you. But as soon as you stop pushing this button, the play starts. So Romanowski. Go Roman. <laughs> this is good. Make sure when somebody grabs on you, you jam that red button. I would say A button, but on my emulator Stay controllers, it is not labeled correctly, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Gets out the pass. Oh! Big pass to Dwight Stone to the 20, to the 30, to the 17. First down. A 55-yard gain there. Yeah, sometimes I don't like to be the cornerback because the cornerbacks uh, sometimes get out of the play too often. Romanowski's pretty good. He was a pro bowler, I believe. There you go. Oh, fumble! Fumble! Who's going to get it? Oh, the Niners got it. Davis on the run with the ball. And he's going to get to the 22. Niners ball, folks. Holy cow. Shows that things could change in the wink of an eye. And G-Town is firmly... Well, he's not in control, but he has the ball. Up the gut with Ricky Waters for a one-yard gain. Well, sometimes runs work, sometimes they don't. <clears throat> All right, man in motion. Oh, crap, get rid of it. <laughs> wow. Okay, so anyway, when they pick your play, they're going to all crunch it like that. So it's good to just get rid of it as soon as you can, although sometimes they can get intercepted that way. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is capable of catching the ball with four dudes on him. He almost always catches the ball, and that's why he's a Pro Bowler, a Hall of Famer, and an all-around nice guy. And so is Steve Young. Steve Young's a nice young man, although I never forgave him for taking uh, Montana's spot. Back to pass. Looks, 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 looks. He's got, to, he's got John Taylor, Jonathan Taylor Thomas for the touchdown. Touchdown, San Fran. Where's Kim at? Steve Young on the roids. Oh, I kick a field goal? Yeah, when you kick the PAT, when you snap, there's going to be an arrow that goes up and down. Try to get it in the middle, but for a PAT, it's not hard to kick it. And if you wait too long, you'll get blocked like a silly man. It's good. Successful try. Yes. And now, Michael Kofer for the kickoff there. Once again to the Charles Woodson. Charles, oh, almost. A, that's a perfect kick right there because he couldn't down it. A coffin corner kick. But not really. I misused that phrase, and I feel bad about it now. How do you know? Maybe they will. Maybe they'll throw it. 
Oh. Barry Foster's Australian for 20-yard run, folks. Ah, oh, 30-yard, damn. I sold him, sold him short. O'Donnell's back to pass. Yeah, he should've went for the sack. Merrill Hodge with a short pass there for the first down. And, uh... <laughs> Some spectators just came in wanting to get in on the great action that is Tecmo. We're picking them up as they come. Oh, Merrill Hodge, another short pass, gets it out to the 20, folks. And that's... No, it's not going to be the last play of the first quarter. Niners up 7-0, but they could be losing their grip on the lead as the Pittsburgh Steelers thunder down the field. But they didn't thunder with the one-yard run by Merrill Hodge into the first quarter, folks. Second and nine. We'll have to see what they're going to do. Are they going to run? Are they going to pass? Oh, you're already reading formations. Very good, G-Town. <laughs> but that was a very nice stop right up the center. you got to watch that Barry Foster character. He is, in this year, a pro bowler. And he thinks of only one. Oh, could it be? Oh, Bill Romanowski would have chemically assisted. B. Romanowski with a chemically assisted sack. They're going for the field goal. Usually the middle guys are better. Yep. And then you just kind of cross in. So you gotta. But it's good. By Gary Anderson. And now the kickoff. <laughs> Not too bad. Starting off from the 15. Logan. Mark Logan on the right. I don't know if it's Mark Logan. Maybe it's Mark Logan. I won't know unless you get a touchdown with him. So, not bad field position for the Niners. Four minutes left in the second quarter. As the Niners take possession, Steve Young. Tom Rathman. Tom Rathman, not the quickest guy, but very capable of just shrugging people off, being that large fullback type character. He leaves the glitzy running to Ricky Waters. Up the gut, Ricky Waters converts with a mighty one yard gain. <laughs> oh, Ricky Waters with the sweep. Ricky Waters, he is a quick guy. Oh, he, oh, he's broke. He broke. Oh, I thought we were going to be seeing a touchdown. Ricky Waters there, but 19 yards, not too shabby for the uh, young kid from, uh, I don't know what college he went to. Fans? Oh, you probably shouldn't drop that far back, but uh, Ricky Waters on the run. Oh, you're lucky you didn't get picked on that one. They were covering your guys good. Remember, it's always an option to scramble unless you drop back 20 yards. Oh, that's Steve Young. Yeah, Steve Young is a, a quick little monkey. You know who's really quick, though? Randall Cunningham. The Eagles? Yeah. That guy is lightning, grease lightning quick, folks. But still, Steve Young is no slouch. And see, he's even got his own QB keeper play. Nice, yeah. Yeah, that's why I say, I forget about him. Um, I, I find that, I don't know how you'd forget about him since his name is up there every time. <laughs> Number eight, Young. Yeah, Steve Young, a little bit more fleet of foot than uh, Joe Montana was. I flip the play, like make this go up. No, nope, no. Nope. Uh, Sorry. Another sweep, Ricky Waters. Oh, he could, he could have no, just barely stopped. It's got to be like that two or the three yard line, folks. He's right there. Touchdown, Ricky Waters, to put the Niners up by two touchdowns. Or no, not yeah, no, by two touchdowns. Yep, still a two-possession game. Well, provided you can make... Well, no, even if you can't make the kick. And if you can't make the kick, then... 
is a short bus with your name on it. So G-Town going to town with a 14-3 lead over the Pittsburgh Steelers at this time. Hell yeah, that's kind of cool. Are you kidding me? You know how many hours people wasted on this game? Yeah, well, this is more of a stripped-down kind of arcade-type yeah. feel to it, you know? And that's why Bill Romanowski barking up the... Oh, he comes, he sweeps back and makes the tackle. Nice. He can call a timeout. Yeah. yeah, Bill Romanowski, definitely uh, no stranger to uh, tight, needle-type situations. right and at the half it is 14 to 3 in favor of the san francisco 49ers wait i want to see the halftime show here is it that one girl who sings no it's the clown you either get the clown or you get the girl who sings and at the half we can see that ricky waters tearing it up with 56 yards on the ground young only 62 yards in the air 100 yards for o'donnell in the air but it hasn't converted into points folks all right. <laughs> <laughs> Logan on the run. G money. He got to the well, ten yards. Don't get safety. Because despite the fact that uh out of my professional uh conduct as a uh a play by play announcer, I would have to laugh at you for that. Brent, oh, okay. Brent Jones makes the gap, the nab. Oh, I thought they First down. Oh. Yeah, usually when you have a guy running a route where he's going to stop, yeah. wait till he stops. Because if you don't, generally the pass is going to go all goofy. Oh, Armageddon Blitz. Five-yard loss. They picked that play. They were tired of getting burned by old Ricky Waters. Ready, set, put. Second down, 14. Oh, see, I told you. you oh. Char well, he was open right there. I figured he was Rod Woods. Right there. Well, the thing is, like, he's got one of the, like I told you, he's got a route where he's on, yeah. he's going to stop. Let him Red stop. Because that's one thing. So a big interception by Rod Woodson. I think I call him Charles Woodson. Or I think it's Rod Woodson. It's somebody who's related to the Woodson who played lately. Uh, but in any case, the Steelers take over. Almost in the red zone. And this could be a real pulse pounding type situation for G Unit, G Money, G Town, excuse me. <laughs> There's just so many variants we can go with. Out of the gun, O'Donnell. O'Donnell, oh, Bill Romanowski. Oh, and O'Donnell almost to mock the 49ers goes for the. Goes for the scramble, 12 yards. Risking life and limb and limb and life. Oh, Armageddon Blitz. He manages to get it off in time. And it is caught by Heather Graham. No, I doubt his name is Heather. So yes, as we are competing right now, for the, uh, we're competing for the Rasmussen Memorial Cup at this time. Oh, coming around. Oh, Barry Foster's is, Aust is Australian for touchdown. No, he's, he's still 14, 4, well, let's see if he get, they get the PAT. It's good. You already got an INT with poor Steve Young. You messed up his passer rating. He's very cross with you at this time. Logan gets brought down about the 31, folks, and now... Well, I didn't know you got a way to stop a route, because he was wide Young's back to pass. He gets the ball off to Brent Jones over the center. It's a first down, gets across the shield to the 49. For the 49ers. Ah, ah, ah. How apropos. 
<laughs> Young on the run. Oh, and he steps out of bounds. But maybe good to save his body. From players get hurt? Oh, players do get hurt. Feelings wise and uh, physically. Waters comes around the side. Dang, that Waters, he, he is as fast as a greased up pig, folks. They can't get him 20 yards. He's, he's got to be very close to that 100-yard oh, mark, which will be announced by the game. He's Tom Rathman. Grr. A lot of times he will popcorn the uh, the guys where they'll just fly off him. Really? Yeah, it'll happen sometimes. It depends on a lot of very complicated statistics that I can't go into right now, and I don't understand. But it's good. Young got out of bounds. Very smart. And he saved two seconds on the clock in case he wants those extra two seconds in the third quarter. I thought it would be best for uh, old G-Town's game here. And Waters sweeps around the side again in an old... It's like they're playing a film over and over again, folks. Five-yard TD run by Ricky Waters. Ricky Waters jumps into the arms of a uh, of a of a nondescript other team member. <laughs> there you go. Twenty-one to ten right now. Niners up. Yeah, I was gonna play the Bears. I like how you picked the best team. Yeah, a lot of people made some very foolish yeah, picks. Like the fourth, the fourth, the fifth. Really? Fourth, the fifth. Yeah. This is like when they were unstoppable. Why well, the Cowboys are pretty good too? Yeah. And the Bills. They're okay. Oh. Merrill Hodge with 15 yards. Yeah, they got Neil Anderson. But unfortunately, they also have Jim Harbaugh. He's a better coach than he was a quarterback. Oh, Romanowski needs to take more steroids, folks. You saw that? But at least you're picking a good guy for defense, I'll say that. Bill Romanowski, despite his needle-enhanced performance, has not shown signs of liver failure on the field yet. But we could be seeing that any time. Is it Ken O'Donnell? I can't remember O'Donnell's first name. Well, in any case... Fourth and two, they're going to go for it, folks. They're hoping to make the necessary two touchdowns in this last three minutes. They could, in fact. But they're not going to do it if Bill Romanowski has anything to say about it, and he doesn't. But an incomplete pass gives the ball back to San Francisco 49ers and G-Town. How do I get this guy to just run over people? Sometimes he does it, sometimes he don't. Depends on who he's running against, all that kind of stuff, you know? Oh! A punishing four yards. Two minutes, we just ran out the clock. Oh, the clock stops. Yeah, when you pick your play, yeah. Sorry, you can't play balls control defense. Or offense. So it looks like this game is pretty much in the books, folks. Yeah, that'd be dumb for me to throw it I mean, unless you want to rack up more points. You know, you will be against uh, your division rival here. Uh, what, uh, the, the New Orleans Saints eventually oh, here. Cool. So somebody is the New Orleans Saints, so you've got that to look forward to. And I've got that to look forward to because I'm going to enjoy watching it. We'll see if he can play better or if it's just the fact that you have a better team. Oh, Ricky Waters? I'm going to turn him into the league's leading scorer. <laughs> Ricky Waters with the touchdown from yeah. two out. Stat tracking. Yeah. 
No, when I, yeah, when I played this when I was a kid, that's, uh, that's kind of what I did, too. There's the kick. It's good. 28 to 10 in favor of the San Francisco 49ers. Boom. Nice kick by Michael Colfer. Puts it right back at the edge of the end zone. Hey, you're, you're up in like two minutes. Run was unsuccessful by Barry Foster's, which was Australian for stuffed three yards behind the line of scrimmage that time. As we're drawing this game to a close, a very impressive and uh, successful coming out, not <laughs> coming out, but uh, debut for G-Town here, who looks to want to take over his particular division, folks. Man in motion there. We'll see what that does. Oh, play action. So much action. I liked it how you were totally fooled by that. Remember, the guy with the number over his head has the ball. <laughs> it's important to remember, the guy with the number over his head has the ball at all times. Uh-oh, O'Donnell. He's going to... He's going to scramble, and he gets an 8-yard gain. Well done by, uh, I don't remember his first name, they O'Donnell. They the ball, hey, 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 listen, this is not that good of an AI. Not yet. Wait till you get later, then the AI's going to kill you. Then they got to They get tougher as you win more. Oh, Dwight Stone with a nice jumping catch, a la Lynn Swan. But uh, I don't think Lin Swan was getting his ass kicked when he did that, so probably maybe a little bit different than Lin Swan. Oh. Uh, Romanowski got down there for a quick injection, and he missed most of the play. All right. What a 49ers successful in this inaugural contest. 28 to 10. You can see the stats here. Ricky Waters almost 100-yard day, 97 yards on the ground. Uh, Young, not so impressive, with 92 yards in the air, one INT. Why are you looking at the red 97 yards? 92, yeah. Uh. So, Foster's probably did better per carry, but um, we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and look at the standings now. We haven't had many games played, but uh, it's, it's saved. It automatically saves. You wanna go get your, your buddy? And then we'll go ahead and look at the uh, AFSC, or AFC East here. Standings. I mean, we're only about halfway through the first week, but I thought I'd take a minute to show you this. Sand Dogs still to come. But that game will not be broadcast. San Francisco takes an early lead because nobody's played a game yet. Central Division. Finally, in the East, nobody's played a game. All right, we'll catch you back at the end of uh, our first week of play for a little recap. Uh, if we don't have any other game coverage, I thank you for watching today, and uh, hope you join us again next time. Bye. -bye.